come to your back edge of your mat. Big toes are touching, knees are slightly apart. Sit it back, reach those arms forward, child's pose. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Bringing your forehead to the mat or wherever it'll touch. Your arms can stay forward or else you can bring them back behind you, just resting here for a few breaths. Getting rid of any distractions we have going on in our minds today. Bringing ourselves to the present moment, to the here, to the now, on our mat. Sliding those arms back in front of you. On your next inhale, let's walk our fingertips over to the right. Stretch out that left side body. Close those eyes. Just breathe. On the next inhale, walk your fingertips over to the left. Feel that nice stretch in the right side body. Bringing our chin towards your chest. Bringing your fingertips back to the center. And sitting up into a nice tabletop position. Wrists are under the shoulders, knees are lying with those hips. Tops of your feet are on the ground. Pressing through the palms of your hands. Gaze is slightly forward. We're gonna begin our cat and cow, so warm up our spine. So on our inhale, drop that belly, look up at the ceiling, into cow. Exhale, round that back into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Continue working with your breath. Inhaling into cow. And exhaling into cat. With every breath, try to get a little bit deeper. Drop that belly just one inch lower. Arch that back, maybe one inch higher. Nice, easy flow. Let's do one more cow and one more cat, then meet me back in tabletop position. From here, we're gonna bring our right leg and we're gonna step it in between our hands. Making sure our knee is staying behind those toes. From here, you're gonna press your hips forward and then if you want an extra step, you can raise those arms up. Feel that nice deep stretch in those hips. Raising those arms up, but keeping those shoulders down and away from those ears. And gaze up towards the ceiling. With every breath, sinking a little bit deeper if you can. Inhale, exhale, sit it back, straightening that front leg, holding forward, bringing that chin towards that chest, flexing to that foot. Feel that nice deep stretch in those hamstrings, those calves. All right, bringing that foot back and straightening it behind you. And then from here, we're gonna slide that foot to the side. I'm gonna turn You're sliding that foot to the side, pointing to that toe, and then this is where we're just gonna rock it back and forth, be nice and gentle here, really opening up those hips with this. And if this is too much, you can just keep it straightened. Have to rock it back and forth. We got three. one slide it back behind you and then back in that tabletop 
we got that same thing on the other side. So this time let's step that left foot forward in between those hands. And then sitting those hips forward, raising those arms up, sinking those hips down nice and low, making sure that front knee is staying behind those front toes. Just breathing. Any time you find your mind wandering, just bring your awareness back to your breath. Take a big inhale. Exhale, sit it back, flex into that foot. That leg, holding forward, bringing that chin towards that chest. Stretching out every muscle in that posterior chain. Sliding that foot back, straightening it behind you. And so then from here, taking it out to the side, going through that toe, and then whenever you're ready, rock it back and forth nice and gentle here. Listen to your body, nice little flow. Opening up those hips. At three, two, and one. Slide it back and then bring it back into that tabletop. From here, we're gonna curl those toes under and press back into our first downward facing dog. Pressing those hips up as high as you can. You can begin to pedal those feet. Feel a nice stretch throughout the entire body. Dropping that head, pressing through the palms of your hands. And those hips lifted as high as you can. All right, take a big inhale up. Exhale, bring those heels down as close as you can to the mat. Inhale that right foot high. Exhale, open up those hips, bend that leg, and start making circles with that knee if you would like. one direction and then the other. And then straighten that leg, squaring up her hips to the floor, flex into that foot. Inhale, bring that knee towards that chest. Exhale, raise it up. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale it up. Inhale, to chest. Exhale it up, two more. Inhale it in. Exhale it up. Last one, inhale it in, and then step that foot in between those hands. From here, making sure all of our weight is in between those feet. Your hands are just here to help support you. You can drop that back knee at any point. Inhale those arms up. Take those hips nice and low. From here, I want you to think about squaring your hips up to the front of your mat. Drop that back heel down, warrior one. Big inhale, exhale, warrior two. From here, make sure that knee is staying behind those toes. Hips are opening up to the side. Reaching out through opposite fingertips and gaze over that front hand. Lifting that front hand up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Now your arm can either rest on that leg or else you can bring it down, make it work for you. Use is either up towards the ceiling or down at the floor. Inhale, back up into Reverse Warrior. Straightening that front leg, dropping front hand down, back hand comes up into our triangle. 
So you can either rest on that shin, the ankle, or the floor, make it work for you. You can bring those feet in a little bit if you need to. Reaching up for that fingertips. Dropping back hand down, front hand comes up into reverse triangle. Nice detox pose here. Nice massage for our internal organs. Front hand comes back down, back hand up. Using that core, Just bring yourself up to standing. Bend that front knee. Carve those hands down. Right foot back to meet the left. From here, come forward two inches, keeping those elbows tucked in. Exhale as you begin to chaturanga down. And drop it at the bottom, uncurl those toes. From here, we're gonna come up halfway. Baby Cobra, nice little mini back bend. Gaze is still slightly forward. Exhale and release. Slide those hands underneath those shoulders and press on up. And you can lay from either stay on the ground or else you can lift up, resting on the tops of your feet. Upward facing dog. Letting those hips lower as far as they can. Lifting up your heart, ceiling. Letting all that love come in. Curling those toes, pressing those hips back. Downward facing dog. All right, we got that same thing on the other side. So inhale, that left foot high. Exhale, open up those hips. Bend that knee, begin making circles. Go one direction, head in the other. And straighten that leg, square up those hips. Looking up at your hands. Inhale that knee towards that chest. Exhale it up. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale it up. Inhale to chest. Exhale it up, two more. Inhale. And exhale, last one. Inhale it in and bring that foot in between those hands. From here, you can drop that back knee if you'd like to, or else you can keep it raised. Inhale those arms up, runner's lunge. Drop that back heel down, warrior one. Making sure your hips are facing the front. Carvel those hands out, warrior two. From here, hips are facing the side, shoulders roll back and away from those ears, gazes over that front hand, reaching out through those fingertips. Your front knee staying behind those front toes. Flip that front hand up, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. So either resting on that leg or else dropping it down. Inhale back into reverse warrior. This time straighten that front leg. You bring those feet a little bit closer together if you'd like. Drop that front hand down. Back hand comes up. Triangle again, either resting on the shin, the ankle, or the floor. Reaching out to those fingertips, lengthening every muscle of our body here. Drop back hand down, front hand comes up, reverse triangle. Now gaze is either up at the ceiling or down at the floor. Nice little detox pose. Feel a nice deep stretch in those hamstrings and in those glutes. Drop front hand back down, back hand comes up. Using that core, bring yourself back up to standing. Then let's cartwheel those hands down. Left foot back to meet the right. Forward two inches. Exhale as you chaturanga. 
Inhale into up dog. Exhale into down dog. From here, looking up at your hands, walk, step, or jump your feet up towards your hands. Face forward fold. Taking a breath here. Inhale, halfway up, nice straight back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, those arms all the way up. Exhale, mountain pose. From here, rolling your shoulders back and away from those ears. Palms facing forward, elbows tucked in, lifting up to the crown of your head. Rocking back and forth, make sure all four corners of your feet are firmly planted into the ground. Squeezing up to those kneecaps, squeezing those glutes. Tailbone is slightly tucked under. Closing those eyes, bring yourself right here, right now. Noticing how your body is feeling. Maybe you're feeling a little bit more warm, a little bit more stretched out. Recognize these feelings. If you're noticing any stress coming up, for things that you have going on today or this week. Recognize those feelings. And just let those feelings go for now. All that matters is right here, right now, you and me. Inhale those arms back up. Exhale, forward fold. From here, make sure you have your dumbbells handy. Have them on either side of the mat. And from here, Inhale, halfway up, nice straight back. Exhale, forward fold. I want you to step that left foot back. We're gonna come into that runner's lunge again. So here, disperse the weight in between your feet. You can drop that back knee at any point, grab those weights and raise on up. From here, your dumbbells are gonna come down. Actually, know what we're going to do. You're going to raise those dumbbells up over your head. I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see me. So dumbbells are up over your head. Your arms are as close as you can to your ears. And we're just going to drop that dumbbell back and up. Tricep extension. Turn to the front real quick so you can see. So you're keeping those arms as close as you can, glued to those ears, taking it up and down. If this is too much, you can get rid of the, one of those weights. We're working the back of those arms here. Make sure that front knee is staying behind those front toes. Inhale down, exhale up. You got four, three, two. Last one, drop that back heel down, warrior one. Coming forward, one dumbbell comes down, the other one comes um, down right by that leg. So from here, your chest is facing the floor. We're gonna do a low row, so you're gonna bring that dumbbell up towards your rib cage, and then back down. Exhale, and inhale. Go ahead and begin. Now, if you want to add a challenge, you can bring the other dumbbell down, turn a little bit to the other dumbbell down, and you're working both arms at the same time. It can work for you. I want you to think about pinching those shoulder blades at the top. If this is too much with those legs, you can always bring that other leg, or the back leg a little bit closer, make it work for you. really feel your booty working here. Also working that core and those arms. Keep that belly button pulled in. We got four, three, two, and one. You come up, open those hips up to the side, warrior two. From here, dumbbells are gonna come out, palms are facing up. We're gonna do an elevated bicep curl. So as you straighten that leg, I want you to curl it in Take it out. Notice I'm keeping my arms parallel to the floor. All right, if this is too much with the weight, take out the weight. Make it work for you. Let's begin. Inhale and exhale. Really isolating those biceps. Squeezing those glutes. You're lifting up to the crown of your head. We got four. Three. And one, bring those dumbbells to heart center. 
going to bring one dumbbell down. The other one is going to come up. Be cautious here. You're going to raise it up into our reverse warrior. If this is too much of that dumbbell over that shoulder, get that dumbbell down, okay? Or get rid of that dumbbell completely. Straighten that front leg. One dumbbell is coming down. The other one's coming up over your other shoulder now. From here, triangle. You're just going to take it down and up. So another, um, to make it a little bit easier, you can bring that back foot a little bit closer to the front. Make it work for you. You can also get rid of that bottom weight if you need to make it work for you. It's your workout. Inhale and exhale. Keep that dumbbell over that shoulder the entire time. Keep that core engaged, supporting that lower back. Core is what is lifting you up and down. Keep the mind. We got three. Two. Last one. Bring those dumbbells back down. Nice bend of that knee. Go ahead and put those weights to the side. Step that right foot back to the left. Come forward two inches. Exhale as you try the run guy. Inhale into up dog. Exhale into down dog. From here, step that left foot forward. Grabbing those weights. Whenever you're ready, coming on up. Taking one inch deeper. From here, raising those dumbbells up over your head. Keeping those arms as close as you can to your ears whenever you're ready. Take it down, take it up. Inhale and exhale. Too much with those legs, you can always straighten those legs a little bit, make it work for you. with your breath here. We got four, three, two, last one. Double down, drop that back heel. Hinging those hips forward from here. Dropping that one dumbbell down. The other one comes to the side. I'm gonna try and see if you can see me. We're doing that low row, so you're driving that dumbbell up towards your rib cage. Pinching your shoulder blade. Bring it down if you want that added challenge. Bring both arms down. Both arms at the same time. Exhale up, inhale down. Continue pinching those shoulder blades at the top. Take my hand is in between the shoulder blades. We got four, three, two, last one. And those hips up to the side or your two. From here, we're going back to that elevated bicep curl. Actually, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna work our biceps, we're gonna do something else instead. So dumbbells come down, tuck those elbows in behind you. As you straighten those legs, you're gonna take those arms out into a server and then bring it in. Exhale and inhale. Every time you inhale those arms in, you're tucking those elbows behind you, try to hide those elbows. This is another great bicep exercise. So we're targeting the same muscles that we did with the elevated bicep curl, just doing a different exercise, working a few different muscle groups here. Continue lifting up to the crown of your head. Nice light hold to those dumbbells. After a while, you should start to feel your muscles shaking just a little bit. Good thing we're working those muscles. We got three, two, last one. All right, dumbbells come down, turning forward. Inhale that one arm up over that shoulder, reverse warrior. I want you to think about pressing that dumbbell up. Working that core just a little bit more. All right, straighten that front leg. Front dumbbell comes down. The other one comes up over your shoulder. Whenever you're ready, triangle, taking it down and up. You can bring those feet a little bit closer together if you'd like. Make sure you're keeping that dumbbell above that shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Work that core. You'll notice one side is more flexible than the other. It's okay, it's normal, just recognize it. A 
really think about engaging that core. The core is what is lifting you up and down here. You might need to reduce your range of motion. That's okay. Make it work for you. We got three. Last one. Move the dumbbells down. Dumbbells come on up the side of the mat. Left foot back to meet the right. Come forward two inches. Exhale as you chaturanga. Inhale into up dog. Exhale into down dog. From, in, from here, inhale that right foot high. We're going to come into our pigeon pose. So bring that knee towards that wrist. Ankle comes towards that left wrist. Drop that back knee down, uncurl those toes. Lift up here, you can stay here, or else you can drop it down. Make it work for you. Really stretch out those glutes and the hamstrings. Really recognizing here how your body's feeling. Again, it should be feeling a little bit more warm. When we incorporate these weights, what it is doing for us, it's helping tone up our muscles. It's also helping to speed up our metabolism, which means it helps us build, burn more calories at rest. It also strengthens our bones. All the things we need. All right, come back up. Curl those toes under, press back into your downward facing dog. Then inhale that left foot high. Exhale, knee to the wrist, foot towards your right wrist. Drop that back knee down, kind of shimmy back. Uncurl those toes. Either stay here or else drop it down. The goal with a pigeon pose eventually with practice is to bring your shin parallel to the front of your mat. Now it's a practice. It's something that the more we do, the easier it'll get. We won't have that the very first few times we do this. Noticing any areas of tension and just focus on breathing into those areas. All right, from here, circle that leg forward. I'm gonna turn. Okay, from here, have those weights handy. All right, belly button is pulled in. Sitting it back, you can hold on to those hamstrings if you'd like. From here, you can grab those weights, dumbbells facing up, shoulders roll back away from those ears. We're gonna do a bicep curl, so taking it in and out. Now, if you want an added challenge, you can raise those legs up. Make it work for you. We'll pose with the bicep curl. Nice light hold to those dumbbells. If this is too much on that back, bring it down, make it work for you. Keep that core engaged. All right, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Turn those palms to face the center. So it's a neutral grip now. So palms are facing the center. We're still curling it up and down. It's working a few different muscle groups here. All about these effective exercises. Getting as many muscles as you can in these short workouts. We got four, three, Two, and one. Drop it down, weights come to the side. We're gonna slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. The head is the last thing to come down. All right, catch your breath a moment. Just about there. All right, give yourself enough space. From here, you're gonna raise those dumbbells up over your head. Your feet are gonna slide as close as you can to your booty. From here, what we're going to do, you're going to raise those hips up. All right, then from here, you're gonna take it out into a chest fly, and then you're gonna take it back up. Exhale it out, and inhale it in. If this is too much with the legs, you can bring that, those leg, the booty down at any point. All right, make it work for you. If you are lifting that booty or squeezing those glutes, get those legs up as high as you can. A nice little bench those elbows we don't want to lock those elbows out you should be feeling this in those shoulders 
those arms and also a little bit in that chest. We got four, three, two, and one. Drop those hips, straighten those legs from here. Raise those dumbbells up. What we're gonna do, actually bring those dumbbells right above those shoulders, okay? We're gonna do a chest press to a toe reach, okay? So bring those dumbbells back down above those shoulders, so press it up, reach up for those toes. If this is too much of those legs, you can always bend those knees, all right? Make it work for you. You can also even just keep those knees down if you need to. Different options here. Take your time with this one. You're really using that core to lift you up. That head is staying nice and neutral. That neck is staying nice and neutral. All right, don't put any pressure in that neck. It's all coming from that core, specifically those lower abdominal muscles is where we are working when we're reaching out for those toes. That's where we have that little pooch area we gotta get rid of. We got three, two, last one. All right, from here, bring those dumbbells together. You're gonna raise those arms up over your head, keeping those arms nice and straight, and bringing it back up, pull over. Working underneath those armpits, also the back of those arms. All right, your legs need to stay raised to work that core. Or if you want an added challenge, you can straighten those legs as you take those arms out. Biggest thing though, that lower back is staying flat on the ground. So if you need to reduce the range of motion, reduce that range of motion. You can also bend those knees if you need to. Make it work for you. And you can even just keep those legs down if you need to as well. Whatever option works for you today. Keep that core engaged. Exhale down, inhale up. We got four, three, two, last one. Drop those dumbbells, hands come behind your head. We're gonna finish it out with some bicycles, burn it out. Opposite elbow to opposite knee, again. Feel that crunch in those side obliques to burning out those lower abdominal muscles. We've got 15 more seconds. Getting that heart rate up, then we'll bring it back down. You got five, four, you got this. Three, two, where are you pedaling? Last one. Woo. Bring those knees in a second. Big inhale, exhale, drop those legs. Full body stretch, reach those arms and legs out in the opposite direction. Just a big inhale. And exhale. Bring those arms down by your side. Make sure that those weights are out of your way. You're finished with those. From here, palms are facing up. Just breathing a moment. Closing those eyes. Noticing how your body's feeling. Becoming aware. Doing a quick little body scan to yourself. Starting with your toes those toes, bring your awareness all the way up through the body, your head out through your fingertips, any areas you feel tense, focus on those areas, let them be released. On your feet fold to the side, palms just naturally, your tips naturally uncurl, releasing any tension in the jaw, Letting that head roll wherever feels comfortable for it. And keeping those eyes closed. For these last few minutes, I want us to go to our happy place, wherever that may be. Whether it's on the beach or up in the mountains, or just in a quiet place in our house. Wherever it may be, take yourself there right now. We're gonna bring in our senses. So think about 
our sight. What are the things you see when you're at this happy place? If you are at the beach or on a cruise boat, think of all that beautiful blue water. It goes for miles and miles and miles. Think about things you hear when you're there. Are you hearing the birds chirping? The kids laughing? What smells do you smell here? That's the ocean air. Maybe it's fresh flowers blooming. Maybe it's that sunscreen. What things do you feel at this happy place? Like physically feel, is it that sand underneath your feet? about all the things that you touch when you're there at that happy place. Most importantly, what emotions do you experience when you're at this happy place? Visualizing yourself right there, right now. Notice what emotions are coming up for you. The total relaxation. No care in the world, the happiness. What is the energy that you feel at this happy place? What is everyone feeling around you? Are they all happy and relaxed? If there is no one around you, just focus on those feelings you're feeling to yourself. What energy are you letting off? Is it positivity? Is it creativity? Is it just joy and gratitude? Focus on those things. And finally, what is it that you do at this happy place? Do you stand at the top of that boat looking out at the water? Are you on a beach laying out, letting the sun beat down on you? Are you hiking in some beautiful mountain scenery? Are you sitting with a book in a quiet area in a room? Whatever you're doing, visualize yourself doing that right now. And notice that feeling that you're feeling while you're doing this. Whenever you're ready, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Make circles with your wrists and your ankles. Inhale those arms up over your head. Nice deep stretch. Exhale, roll onto your side. Ending in this fetus pose. We're starting today a new day past does not serve us. All that matters is how we choose to live our life starting right now. Focusing on that positivity and that gratitude for all the things we have going on in our lives. We're so blessed and so fortunate. Coming on up to a seated position, crossing those legs, Palms are either facing down to harness the energy you have in, or else facing up to receive energy for the day, pulling the shoulders back and away from those ears. 
We're gonna finish with a few mantras. So I want you to repeat to yourself after me. I am healthy. I am happy. I am whole. I am complete. I am safe. Life supports me. I love me. And do it one more time. Repeat after me. I am healthy. I am happy. I am whole. I am complete. I am safe. Life supports me. I love me. Bring those hands to your heart center. Big inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Lighten me, honors, cherishes, and loves. Lighten you. Namaste.